This is the whole problem with taking a running back number two overall. Yes, yeah, they they yeah. set him up, get him, and set him up for disaster. Yeah. Barkley's great. He means a lot to the Giants, but obviously his worth at that position. Yeah, I a crazy story about that draft, too. Uh, I remember talking to Mike McCagnan about it because you remember the Gi- uh, Jets right. were drafting three. Oh, of course. I was saying, like, dude, like, weren't you nervous like that, that the Giants were going to go quarterback, quarterback, and suddenly you're landing the number three, which would have been Josh Rosen because the, the, after drafting Hackenberg, they weren't going to go with a developmental project like Allen again. It goes... No, because we had our sources that said the Giants were so locked in on Barkley at number two. And I was like, well, like, that's, I mean, I have sources too. Anytime you break a story, there's always like that slight hesitation. Like, is this person lying to me? Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, are you worried? Right. He goes, I wasn't worried until the morning of the draft happened. And we got word that it wasn't Sam going one, that Baker was going one. Cause like, so the Jets thought they were getting Baker. They thought they were getting Baker at three. They had Sam was their number one quarterback that they thought they were getting Baker. They okay. thought I was like, did you ever get worried? He goes, the only time I got worried was when we got worried in the morning that it was going to be Baker one. He goes, because I knew that the only person that loved Sam more than anyone in the world was John Elway. And he was with the Broncos. He goes, and I was petrified that John was going to call the Giants oh. at number two and offer the house wow. for number two in order to get Sam Darnold. And I found out, he goes, after the fact, I saw John wherever. And he goes, I said to him, I was like, I was, I was surprised you didn't do that. Like, I really thought Don't you were going to try to jump us. They did. Dave wouldn't answer the phone. <gasps> Dave was what? so locked in on number two that he wouldn't no answer the phone. Way. Yeah. So Dave was like, when Dave said, like when what Dave said in his press conference, when Dave said in his post game press conference, they didn't need to eat. 